hi in this video we will talk about how to handle multiple elements in playwright so for this i created one class called handle multiple elements test and i created a method called handle multiple elements okay so first i'll create a page instance so page page is equals to playwright dot create dot chromium dot launch new browser type launch options dot set uh, headless false dot new page okay so i create a new page instance and if you go to this website get okay, dev dot automation testing dot in slash form so i want to see how many input boxes on this web page otherwise how many uh, what is the links on this web page okay i want to print that count let's an example okay so for that what i need to do page dot locator and the locator is double forward slash a means all the links i am taking an x path of normal like when you inspect this double forward slash a so i am seeing one of six elements six links on this particular web page okay so we'll see whether it is giving me these things or not so for that what we need to do till here this is a locator right i am finding a locator so but you have one of the options called a dot all all means which are you no know, matching with this locator it will find all the elements means more than one if you have so it will return list of locators so list of locator okay list of locator in the can say all links or links whatever it is so we need to import this list just alt enter import class and this is java.util.list okay so now i'll simply print the links count okay links count yes all links dot size so size of this links okay so now i'll try to execute this and then i'll wait for 2 seconds at least thread dot sleep of 2000 and i'll input i'll throw this exception so and then page dot close i'll close the browser so let me execute this sorry i think i forgot to mention the navigating to that particular page so page dot navigate so this is the url i'll take and then so now we'll try to execute this and see whether it will print all the links on that particular web page or not so it means not links but a count at least count of that that is what we are printing right so first it will navigate to that web web page and then it will print all the things you see that six elements we saw right when we inspected it is saying six so now i want to print those okay now i want to print those so for that i'll use for each loop sorry so for each loop what is that so that is locator right so multiple locators i'll take single locator locator so look all links i'll say so instead of all links i'll say link then s out so link dot i can say text content but i'll print the text of that particular link right how to print the no particular element text that we already saw in our one of our previous videos so there are different ways so i'm using text content okay let me run this now 
after printing the count of the links and it will print all the links text. So it opened the browser. You see that? It printed all the home, farm, web table, self-healing, practice site. Right. So this is how it printed. Might be there is no sixth one, it seems. Sixth one, I think there is a, some. Uh, there is no text, it seems. So it printed blank. So whatever it is. So it is printing. All right. So if I want to uh, do the same thing, not this. So I'll say, so the, all the, again, I'll say all inputs. Okay. So input means input tag. So input, so input count, all inputs dot size. Okay. So let me execute this again. So this time it will print all the links and all the inputs on a particular element. What we need to do? We need to say page dot locator dot all. All is a method. So with the help of that all method, we can find multiple elements, multiple locators, and that we need to capture in list of locator. So the return type is list of locator when you use dot all method. You see that there are 17 inputs on that particular page. Okay. So if you move further, so you go to web table. So I want to print all the first names or last names or email IDs. Okay. So how we can do that? So there is a table. So table area label equal simple table. Okay. Double forward slash table. So I need to mention a grid. So in this table, so I'll want to print all the email IDs. Okay. So slash T body slash TR slash TD. So first one, two, three, four, five, six, it seems. TD of six. TD of six. And then five. Print all the email IDs. This is five. Okay, so I will take all these things. So after this, list, locator, all email IDs is equals to what I need to do, page dot locator. This is the locator dot all. Okay, so then I need to use for each loop. So for that, what I need to do? Okay. So what is that email ID? So locator, email ID, colon, all email IDs, and then a out email ID dot text content. Okay. So for each and every email ID, I want to print here again, it's showing only five. Okay. So now, let me take a separator here to show it properly. So just I'll put this thing. So let me rerun this. Sorry, again, mistake. So after this, I need to navigate to this URL. So let me change this URL. It will navigate to that URL after this. So let me run this. So the URL changed, right? We need to navigate to that URL. Then only it will find that all email IDs and it will print on the console. Okay. So first it will go to the form and it will find the links and inputs. 
and then it will navigate to the table. So you see that? If you see here, you see one, two, three, four, five email IDs. Right. So this is how you can capture multiple elements with the help of all method. Okay. So let me tell you one more thing here. So let me take a separator again. It just to show the output properly, that's it, not more than that. It's not needed actually. So all email IDs. So I want to print all email IDs, right? So page dot locator and again, same locator. So I want to print, right? So when you say this, you see that? All inner text, all text contents. Okay. Any one of these things. So now what we can do. So now, it, now you see that it is showing error. Okay. So the reason is what I'm saying this all email IDs is what type of list of locator, but the return type of this one is list of string. So we need to mention list of string all email ID texts, something like that. Okay. So now you can use the for each loop again, email text all email ID text. So this is what type? String type. So insert this, S out. Again, just email text. Okay. So another way to find the text. So let me execute and see. So first it will go to the form page and then web table page. So if you observe the first time is with the help of dot all method. And the second time is using all text content method. So what is the difference between these two? Right. Here I'm using all method locator dot all. And here I'm using locator dot all text contents. Okay. So here it will give list of locator here it will give list of string. So if it is a text you are simply getting and on that particular locator, what you want to do you can do. Right. So this is a locator. Locator means you can perform whatever you want. You can click. Okay, is what is it like? Uh, you can click you can clear. You can double click, something like that. So you can, uh, what you say, like uh, type, you can use fill, right? As that is a locator, right? So in real time, after getting a list of these locators, what you want to perform on that particular each and every element, that is depends upon the requirement. If you are getting all the links, I want to click on each and every link, right? So just an example, what I did here, I just printed, okay, I just printed the text, but I know I want to get text of all the elements. So instead of taking all and now getting after that, getting the text contents, you can directly get the text contents, all text contents method. Okay. So in this scenario, both are same, but in the real time, after getting the locator, what you want to perform depends upon your requirement. So because of that, I am explaining all method, all text contents method. All method will return list of locator and all text contents will return list of string. Okay. So this is how you can handle multiple elements. Okay. So what is that method? Page dot locator dot all method will give you the more than one element which is matching this locator.
okay so this is all about handling multiple elements in playwright okay so that's all in this video thank you for watching this video please like the video share the video and put your thoughts in the comment section and subscribe to the channel thank you